Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. And I, I want to kind of share a little something. We've been, I've been meeting a few people and we, we talk and, and uh, I've been doing the Hoi Chi and, um, the, you know, when I do Hoi Chi, I don't ask what's wrong with you. And the reason I don't is because I check your body and I find out all these things that are wrong. And uh, there's symptoms that go along with all this stuff. And uh, it's funny, I've noticed, and I never, th I never thought too much about it. And but this time, this time I, I come across some people and said, "How come you're always saying?" excuse that's an excuse and um, and the thing is uh, a lot of people have told me through the years they said Mike you know you're getting old you shouldn't do that and so there's a lot of things that I've been told I shouldn't do because I'm old and uh, so I started thinking about it and the thing is, okay, if you got a limp, uh, I come across the people, 90% of the people have a twisted pelvis. When you have a twisted pelvis, you have a short leg. You have a short leg, you're not walking properly, and it gives you other, all kinds of other problems. But the thing is, I've had people say, well, I've got a short leg. And then I work on them, and I, well, the first thing when they lay down, I find out, yeah, they got a short leg. But one thing I've learned is anybody with a short leg, they're not healthy. They got something going on. And so I fix the short leg and then I go on and go through everything. And they say, well, uh, my shoulder hurts because I hurt it when I was in high school. And now they're, they're aged and they're carrying this same hurt. And their excuse is because they hurt it in, you know, years ago. And um, the thing is, they've accepted the fact that they're hurt. And that's their excuse, well, I can't lift something and all because of that, that shoulder. And um, so, I, the, like I say, they always come up with these excuses. And then after we got done working on them and then we start talking, and I tell them, well, that's, that's no excuse, you know. So, and, but then they ask me, well, Mike, how come you're all the time talking about it? It's an excuse. And the thing is, everything, and not just the Hoi Chi, but I mean, uh, you have problems in life and then you have an excuse. Uh, whatever, whatever that excuse is, whatever the problem is, it doesn't make any difference. You got an excuse for it. And I started thinking about it and I thought, well, you know, it's not always an excuse. It's a learned behavior. So... They, they learn to accept the fact that they're sickly or, you know, I don't get along with people, you know, I'm not, not sociable and stuff like that. Then it's because I've, I'm just that kind of a person. That's your excuse. But you don't learn uh, how to improve on this stuff. And that's, so I, and that's what I've been thinking. All, all the stuff I think about me, I start thinking, well, I got an excuse for this. I got an excuse for that. And uh, sometimes they are, that's my excuse. <laughs> really what it is, I'm too lazy to learn a different behavior, to uh, do something different so then that same problem doesn't keep coming up. I don't have to deal with that same problem. I have to learn how to deal with it. And uh, this is something that I've, kind of I'm, I'm thinking I, okay I think everybody's like that uh, and you know do we have an excuse and this is the way it is I mean it can't be changed that's the way it is that's your excuse or is it something that we just don't want to change our behavior learn okay this bad thing keeps happening to me what can I do to make changes for this and uh, so it applies to all, all aspects of life. And uh, 
So do we make changes or do we not? That, our excuse is, well, not, that's another thing. I, I get around a lot of old people now. And uh, the old people say, well, you know, that's just the way it is. You know, so I oh, say, so, oh, so the excuse is that's the way it is. You're old and, that, and that's, that's the way it is. And what it is, they're, they don't change their eating habits, their drinking habits. Their, 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 they don't look for things. This is what they enjoy doing and they do it. They just don't admit that, that they don't want to make the changes. And so they have these, um, whether it's health issues or uh, baggage, you know, people have this baggage and they don't want to make changes to get rid of that baggage, how to deal with it. Well, it's better just, it's easier just don't deal with it, just kind of let it go, you know, so. And so there's a lot of things like that all in, in life that we either do something about it or we just don't. We just kind of just kind of let it go and uh, no, no big deal. But that's, that's something that I've had to stop and think about it because they said, well, you don't have excuses. <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were giving me shit because here I am, you know, coming up with all, telling them, well, that's no excuse. There's things you can do. And so their way to get back, well, you don't have excuses. And that started making me thinking. Uh, whenever I have a problem, I, I have an excuse for it. But the thing is, I try to change, make changes so that problem doesn't keep existing. I mean, I've, I've been broke before, and like I say when I was broke, I had to change my ways, <laughs> you know. Uh, I gained weight. Now I'm 190. I got up to 220, and I had excuses. Well, the food's really good, and it's really good, and all that. But when I took personal responsibility, that's when everything changed. I wasn't looking for excuses. I was looking why. Is this a learned behavior? And uh, so can I change my behavior to get rid of whatever the thing was? Or is this, things seem to happen to me whenever I do this. Well, why? What can I do to, what can I learn so that doesn't happen anymore? And I've done a lot of that. And that's because I do things. I uh, not only, like I say, I go places, I see things, I do things, and I see people. There's a, there's a lot of things that that I've got to deal with. And to deal with it, I've got to take personal responsibility. And I'm just I'm just thinking, uh, how many excuses that I have for any whatever kind of problems that I have, I've got an excuse to go with it. And I, right now, I'll tell you, I, I don't have a whole lot of problems. I've cut back my problems a lot because I've had to deal with it. And now, one good example, excuse. Uh, I say I've always known I had a reading problem. And it wasn't until maybe 10, 15 years ago where I learned that it's dyslexia. So, you know, well then once I accepted the fact that I'm dyslexia. Well, then it seemed like my reading got worse. <laughs> but then again, like I say, I'm getting older. Things slow down as you get older. It, it does. I've even slowed down. I'm not near as active as I used to be, but I'm still uh, pretty active. And it seems like I've. It's easier for me to find excuses to sit on my butt. Look, like got my chair. Brought my chair with me so I can sit down. Nice peaceful place. And then. Just kind of take it easy and I never used to do that when I was younger so like I say I look for excuses sometimes when I'm older like this well I can't do this I can't do that and but a lot of it is on, on doing things when I'm older is because like I say I, I don't want accidents <laughs> you know I I've done a lot of things so there's very few things I haven't done and anything that I ever wanted to do I've done it so it's, I just, uh, I don't really use excuses that much, but I do. I do use excuses, but now it's something that clicked in my mind. Now excuses, is this, an, whatever happens is an excuse 
it was a learned behavior what can I do to make changes so you know and I say I, that's why I hate this thing about do as you're told that's your excuse well I was told to do that you know so you know even the Marines they were limited on you can what you do uh, you don't have to follow an order that is immoral and that's to keep us from doing immoral acts an 18 year old and your and your your job is killing people that's kind of weird you know trying to figure out what are you talking about but so there's things that I've had to deal with and uh, figure out is that my excuse because I can't use an excuse I was ordered to kill these people when it, if I see this is an immoral act, I don't have to follow that order. So I learned early on, you don't have to follow authority. Authority does things wrong sometimes, and you just can't blindly follow. And so that's why I'm saying, how many things are, are you doing because you were told to? How many things that you do because that's the right thing to do? This Mike, no stress Mike, dot com.